Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to another video. If you do follow my Patreon, uh, you have seen that uh, some time ago I post a picture of uh, this car on my uh, recovery truck uh, or recovery trailer, trailer, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, um, I picked up this car because the car does have um, it, 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 it runs fine. Where is the key? I need to get the key. Hang on. Okay, I have the key now. So the car starts fine and drives well. Sorry, it starts fine, no problems at all. Okay, uh, as you can see, uh, the problem with the car um, is the is the following. Uh, when I press the clutch. Uh oh. So this is the problem. Now I'm gonna tell you a little bit of the story uh, behind this car. So the car broke down uh, on this guy, and um, uh, he got uh, RAC to recover the car, and he's been told that the slave cylinder is gone. Uh, and then I think from from what I've gathered, uh, the guy uh, got in touch with Audi. Um, I believe over the phone, I don't know, uh, they told them it uh, would be around £800 to get it fixed. Uh, then he searched on uh, other garages and uh, he was quoted, if I'm not mistaken, around £500, £600 to uh, get the slave cylinder uh, replaced or to get this problem fixed, providing um, that the problem is the slave cylinder. Um, all this was based on what the RAC guy told them. So these guys, I might be wrong, this is what I've gathered uh, from the story. Um, it doesn't matter really how I got uh, knowledge about this, uh, knowledge, how I got aware of this car, um, and I've been asked if I could have a look at it. So... Um, a week ago or so, I went um, where the car was parked. So the car was um, um, back, was recovered back to the home um, of the owner. Uh, so I went in there to have a look. And uh, when I went in there, uh, the first thing I've done was open the bonnet and check the oil level. Um, and the oil level uh, is okay. Now, my understanding is uh, that if the slave cylinder would have gone... Uh, would be leaking oil. Uh, if it would leak oil, most likely the oil level would drop. Also would be possibly, because of the under trace, that could not really happen, uh, but it could be some um, uh, trace of oil under the car or whatever. So was no oil in the car and the oil level, the brake fluid oil level, which is the same fluid that feeds the clutch, um, is just fine. Um, then at this point, uh, the owner of the car mentioned something uh, that kind of twisted the, the story a little bit. So, another story, but what might the problem be? So he said to me that he found bits of plastic underneath there. So I got under there. This while um, uh, I was checking the car at his place. So I got under there and I'm going to show you exactly what I found as well or what I've seen. Hold a second. Oh. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it because the light, oh dear. Oh. Can you see that? Okay, so this is the shaft. I think this is called the laughing shaft or something like that. So this is the shaft. Now obviously, when you press it, it's going to push the fluid, it's going to push this master cylinder, which in turn is going to push the fluid into the slave cylinder, actuating the clutch, and this is gone. So, this was when I said to him that maybe, maybe, um, there's nothing wrong with the, with the slave cylinder. I've checked the slave cylinder on this car. Uh, by the way, this is a 2006 Audi A3 2.0 TDI, 
and the slave, the slave cylinder on this car is inside the gearbox. So um, the only reason why I brought the car here was because I've seen that problem. Um, if, um, if, if my diagnostic when I've been there was, yes, most likely the slave, the slave cylinder is gone, I wouldn't be doing this job because that, that means the gearbox needs to come out and all that stuff. And well, you guys know uh, the conditions I have here on my driveway. So the only reason why I brought the car was because I've seen that. So fingers crossed that the only problem is going to be the master cylinder, which I'm going to remove uh, next. So we can have a better look uh, once he's out. And even for me to uh, to get hold of um, a replacement, make sure I get the right one. So, so yes, so uh, that's what it is. Uh, what started by possibly uh, uh, judging by the the diagnostic from the RAC uh, RAC guy slave cylinder we we are now here actually um, uh, based uh, um, uh, working on the master cylinder so yeah let's gonna take it off and have a better look um, I'll try to take you through how now it comes out I didn't check yet but it looks like there is a couple nets on the side and this should just slide uh, into through the firewall uh, into the other side and it should come out on the other side but we're gonna have a good look at it um, and try to figure out how it comes out okay so uh, so uh, first uh, I need to correct something that uh, I I said it wrong uh, these actually the this master cylinder comes this way in to the inside of the car so when I was uh, check a little bit better how everything comes off that's when I've, I've, I've realized it comes to this way so the first thing you need to do which I did already is um, disconnect everything from the cylinder down there okay so you have the oil pipe which is here I blocked it in the in the, in, 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 the, in the end and then you have an electrical plug which is right here at the back that goes right underneath. It plugs from the side. Sorry, guys, I got interrupted. So yeah, so you have an electrical plug from the side, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass to remove, but it can be done. Uh, then you have a little clip you can't really see there. Hang on. Uh, oops. Okay, so then you have. Let me move this pipe out of the way. Then you have a clip. That little clip at the back, if you can see right there so you need to pull it this way uh, so the pipe underneath you push it down and that comes out that uh, pipe is the one that goes into the slave cylinder in the gearbox and uh, and that's it everything is disconnected and um, as you're gonna probably be, oh, you might not be able to see now anyway everything is disconnected and now um, and now uh, we do have indeed we do have indeed the to remove the 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 inside as i said there's two nets i'm gonna try not to take this cover here uh but I, it doesn't look like like the access is very good without removing it so i might gonna have to remove this uh but bear in my bear with me and i will explain you i will take you through okay guys you actually need to take this cover uh a few clips uh just force it out there's two screws underneath one here one there all the plugs and that's it he's out and that's gonna now expose everything i'm gonna have to take this pipe here this uh, sorry this hvac conduct here because by the looks of it that is an entire piece the 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 thing that holds the pedal and everything is all part of the of the master cylinder i don't know if then the master cylinder comes out from from this assembly but it looks like I need to remove the entire thing to take everything out. So there's two nuts underneath there. Don't know if there's oh yeah, there's one nut right at the top in there. Right there at the back. And it looks like that's it. So that's gonna take it out. Okay guys, so here is my problem. So the shaft is broken, so the, the there is a broken in there. Look, you can see the rest in there. And I'll take it off. And the rest is in here. And uh, to be fair with you, 
Um, now that I've took this off, I can see that you don't need to take nothing off. If you just need to change this from the inside, providing you have room, um, all you do is, let me see if I can demonstrate this for you guys. Oh, sorry about that. So, all you do is from, you push it in, and then you twist this. So, to remove, to remove this, you twist and pull, and all these can be done from the other side, providing you have room. Uh, and nevertheless, to take that little bit off in there, uh, I would have to probably take this off. So it's not a lot of work anyway, but oops. But uh, but yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to get hold of um, of another slave cylinder. Um, I don't see how I could fix this. Maybe I could, but I don't think I want. Uh, I'm just gonna just gonna get another one, get replaced, and see if that fixes our problem. Otherwise, uh, it's gonna probably be uh, the other cylinder. But I haven't seen any. Um, although now, having a better look, the oil was not that high. To be fair with you, so it was just about right. So don't know. This needs to be replaced now, um, um, regardless. So it's gonna get one, and uh, and uh, and get it done to remove this bit off. There is this white tab that there is that white sort of bed where that uh, ball, where the shaft uh, goes in. Uh, this you press this side and that side, and it, so it should slide. Uh, towards you, towards this side, and you, we, we should be able to take it off. And here we have the new one, is a sax. So here we have a new one. And as we can see now, it broke right here, so this part is missing from here, all the way up to here. So that's the bit that snapped. Um, so yeah, let's kind of, let's kind of put it back in. It's gonna assemble this in there and put it all back i don't think i need to take you through the the put it back in is just the reverse so i'm gonna put it all back i'm gonna bleed the clutch and fingers crossed see if this uh, sorts our problem uh, if not then obviously we might have another issue but for now let's gonna put all this uh, back on okay guys and uh Everything is back in place. Uh, to put stuff back in place, it is a little bit of a, of a pita, but uh, scratched all my hands and bloody hell. Anyway, it's all in place. I've uh, bleed the brakes, uh, the brakes. I bleed the clutch, so it's all bleeded. Everything's done, and we do have clutch indeed. Um, I'm gonna show you. So, as you can see. So we have clutch, um, and I'm going to show you that uh, I can now press the clutch. So the engine is running. I can press the clutch and engage gears, and and it's all good, as you can see. So it looks like it was just that that was broken uh, I had a few things unplugged in there so I think is why the the engine light is on uh, I'm gonna have a quick look because I had uh, uh, I had uh, airflow meter unplugged because uh, I had to take the air filter housing to get access to the to the nipple to bleed the clutch so I think is why the light is on but uh, we'll have a quick scan on it and we'll have a look but other than that um, yeah as for the clutch everything is done as you can see everything is sorted and uh, it was just that um, I think that's it guys um, hope there's some information here that can be uh, useful for some of you out there guys uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you do have any questions any comments you know the score put them below and like always thanks for watching